Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so I just made a video on example four of using McLaurin series for limits. And so check that out because it's a nice segue to this example. Uh, but yeah, uh, in this example, uh, this is what we have to deal with. And if we evaluate the limit as is, this is what we're going to get, which is zero over zero. That means that we can use L'Hopital's rule. But L'Hopital's rule would tell us to take the limit as x goes to zero of the derivative of the numerator divided by the derivative of the denominator. But we don't want to take the derivative of the numerator. Look, it will require a product rule. I'm trying to make this road sound very difficult. But yeah, I would require a product rule. And so then uh, we say, no, we're not going to use L'Hopital's rule. We're going to be cool and use Maclaurin series instead, which means that we need the Maclaurin series for e to the x squared and the Maclaurin series for sine x. Now, I already have five videos on how to derive the Maclaurin series for the five most important functions uh, e to the x sine cosine uh, arctan and then ln of one plus x um, so i'll link the videos that are pertinent uh, to uh, this video below this uh, but yeah uh, to find the mclaurin series for e to the x squared start with the mclaurin series for e to the x which i already have a video on and e to the x has one of the nicest mclaurin series and it looks like this yeah now to get the Maclaurin series for e to the x squared, all we do is replace this x on e with x squared, meaning we have to replace this x here with x squared, and therefore we have to replace all of the x's in this infinite polynomial that represents e to the x with x squared to get the Maclaurin series for e to the x squared. So um, what I just said is this, do this, right? Now, x squared to the n, that's x to the 2n, and also x squared squared could be written as x to the 4th and so on. So doing uh, simplifying like that, we can write the Maclaurin series for e to the x squared like this here. Yeah? Okay, cool. And the Maclaurin series for sine x, I already um, made a video on how to derive. So check that video, um, and I'll link it below this, like I said, just like the one for e to the x. But yeah, here is the Maclaurin series for sine x, and um, that's that. And so uh, we need them because we need e to the x squared times sine x. So the Maclaurin series for e to the x squared times sine x, believe it or not, um, we get simply by multiplying the Maclaurin series for e to the x squared uh, by the Maclaurin series for sine x. That is, we multiply two infinite polynomials uh, to get the Maclaurin series for e to the x squared ti times sine x. And by the way, when you make new Maclaurin series out of old ones, um, that's called modifying Maclaurin series. And... Um, I'm going to make at least five videos on how to modify Maclaurin series to get new Maclaurin series from old ones. And by old ones, I mean the five important ones that I already mentioned. Okay, cool. So, as I said, we multiply the Maclaurin series for e to the x squared by the Maclaurin series for sine x, and that'll look like this, right? Now, uh, in the multiplication, the first thing we're going to do is distribute this one from the Maclaurin series of e to the x squared to all of the terms in the Maclaurin series of um, sine x and then we're going to distribute x squared to all of the terms in the Maclaurin series of sine x and then you get it you get it x to the fourth over two factorial we're going to distribute to all of them let's start by distributing one well when we distribute one it doesn't change anything we just get x minus x cubed over three factorial plus x to the fifth over five factorial plus dot 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 and then plus when we multiply by x squared that is when we distribute this x squared here we're going to get x cubed minus x to the fifth over 3 factorial and so on. You get it. And so um, what I just said is this. When we distribute the 1, we get these dot, dot, dot. And then plus when we distribute the x squared, we get um, x cubed minus x to the fifth, blah, blah, blah. And then when we distribute the x to the fourth over 2 factorial, we get that times x to start. And that's x to the fifth over 2 factorial. And then I didn't bother writing the rest of them because look at what we have to divide um, by. We have to divide by x cubed. So anything that's x to the fifth or beyond is too much. Already x to the fifth is too much. But uh, let's show those. Now notice our numerator is x to the um, or e to the x squared times sine x minus x. It's not just e to the x squared times sine x. So um, since e to the x squared times sine x has this Maclaurin series on the right side of the equal sign, I intentionally highlighted this x here on the right side of the equal sign because we're going to subtract 
acts from both sides of this very last equation. So ask to get the Maclaurin series for the numerator that we're interested in, which is e to the x squared times sine x minus x. Basically, we need this minus x, which we get uh, by subtracting um, x from both sides of this very last equation I displayed. And if we do that, then this is the Maclaurin series, the right side of the equal sign is the Maclaurin series for e to the x squared times sine x minus x. And that's pretty easy to see, yeah? Okay, now we need space, so let's make room. And there's that. And what we want to do with this, e to the x squared times sine x minus x, is we want to divide it by x cubed, and then send the limit as x goes to 0, right? Okay, so that means that here is um, e to the x squared times sine x minus x, and we divide it by x cubed, limit is x goes to 0, right? Now, dividing um, this here by x cubed means dividing each of the terms by x cubed. And so to start, we get negative x cubed over 3 factorial divided by x cubed, which is negative 1 over 3 factorial. And then we get plus x cubed divided by x cubed, so we get plus 1. And then plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial divided by x cubed is going to be x squared over 5 factorial, and so on, right? So that means we get this here and notice that when we evaluate right when x goes to zero only the first two guys will survive all the other guys will have zeros in them which is by the way when we multiplied the Maclaurin series for e to the x and sine x that's why we didn't care to distribute any other terms because like i said they're all going to have powers of x that are too many like too much or whatever um yeah, I'm not an English teacher. Okay, anyway, when x is 0, as I said, only the first two guys survive. And so that means our final answer is 1 minus 1 over uh, 3 factorial, right? And 1 minus 1 over 3 factorial is the same as uh, 5 over 6. Yeah, all right, cool. So this was simple enough to do with Maclaurin series. So you see Maclaurin series are very helpful for other things beyond uh, estimating polynomials.